You may wonder why we're starting a video about chemical reactions by frying an egg. Well the reason is, frying an egg itself is actually an example of a chemical reaction. You'll notice that as the egg fries, you will see a colour change. And this is one example of a chemical reaction taking place. Furthermore, the gas that is lit to heat the pan is another example of a chemical reaction taking place. In this video, we're going to look at what a chemical reaction is and the different ways that we can identify that a chemical reaction is taking place. In a chemical reaction, atoms are rearranged to form new substances. Most chemical reactions are irreversible. Let's now compare that to a physical change. Physical changes are reversible. Dissolving and changes of state are examples of physical changes. For example, in the picture, you can see a melting ice cube. This is not a chemical reaction. This is simply a physical change whereby the ice is changing from a solid state into a liquid one. And this is something that can be reversed. If you were to cool it down again, it would solidify and turn back into an ice cube. We can write chemical reactions as a word equation. Anything that we react together, we call the reactants, and we put those on the left hand side. We then follow these by an arrow and write the products on the right hand side. Products are things that are made in the reaction. For example, we could react hydrogen and oxygen together to make water. Hydrogen and oxygen are the reactants in the reaction and the product is water. You may also see these written as a symbol equation using the symbols of the elements from the periodic table. Here we can see hydrogen, H2, reacts with oxygen, O2, to produce water, H2O. You'll also notice some numbers in front of the hydrogen and the water. There's no number, however, in front of the oxygen. This means that we need two lots of hydrogen and just one lot, but we never write the one here, one lot of oxygen and two lots of water. If we were to draw these as atoms, on the left hand side the reactants that would be reacting together are two lots of hydrogen, so these would be H2, and one lot of oxygen. So in a chemical reaction the atoms are rearranged to produce the products. So these atoms will separate and react in new ways, like so, to produce two water molecules. And as we said previously, chemical reactions are normally irreversible. So once this change has been made, it cannot be reversed. But how do we know a chemical reaction is happening? There are five different things that you can look for. The first is a colour change. For example, here it's gone from lilac to pink, suggesting a chemical reaction is happening. Fizzing means that a gas is being given off and this often means a chemical reaction is happening. You may well observe a temperature change. The temperature of the reaction might increase or it might decrease. You may notice an odour given off or you may notice a precipitate formed. This is a solid that forms in the reaction and causes the reaction to go cloudy. There are many useful chemical reactions. For example, burning fuels. This is a chemical reaction that we use for cooking and generating electricity. We can use chemical reactions to make medicines. Or we might be making new materials like food or building materials. Many of these involve using chemical reactions. When we use chemical reactions in industry, we want them to happen very quickly. And in this case, a catalyst is added to the reaction. A catalyst is something that is added to a reaction to speed up the reaction. Catalysts are not used up in a reaction. So you can reuse them again and again. They are not written in the word equations because they are not something that is reacting. It is simply something that's put in to speed up the reaction. 
Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSCRevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.